So what have we found out about the National Security Agency this week? First off, the Spanish are the latest populace to be spied on en masse by the NSA. El Mundo has reported that the agency collected data on 60 million Spanish phone calls in December 2012. In response, the US ambassador in Spain has been summoned by the government in Madrid to discuss the allegations. ¿Qué tal ha ido? ¿Qué tal ha ido, señor? Then there's reports that 125 billion 125 billion phone calls were collected globally by the NSA in just one month. That includes 22 billion in Afghanistan, nearly 13 billion in Pakistan, 8 billion in Iraq and Saudi Arabia each, and 2 billion in Egypt. <laughs> On top of that, there was the collection of data on 70 million calls made by French citizens. That revelation caused the French government to team up with the Germans to demand high-level talks with the US, calling for real change instead of just constant apologies. But the spying on Germany has been creating most of the headlines. That's because Chancellor Angela Merkel's phone was being tapped by the NSA for more than a decade. Merkel herself has spoken about that as a betrayal between friends, and one German paper called it a punch in the face. It's actually been quite funny watching the White House press team coming up with excuses and denials constantly. But top of my laughter chart was this one. If I want to know what Chancellor Merkel is thinking, I will call Chancellor Merkel. Inevitably, there were allegations that he'd personally authorised it. The NSA denies that it's true, but then they're not particularly high up on anyone's list of organisations to trust anymore. Less funny though have been the continued attempts to try and justify all this spying, creating fear by using the regular bogeyman of the minute, terrorists. In the US, the Republican chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Mike Rogers, said that the French would be applauding and popping champagne corks if they knew what the phone intercepts were about, because, of course, they would keep them safe. <laughs> yes, the terrorism card. I wonder how many of those 70 million phone calls that were intercepted actually helped stop a terrorist plot. Then there's our very own Prime Minister, David Cameron, who said that newspapers reporting on spy agencies were helping terrorists in their quest to blow up families by teaching them how to avoid surveillance techniques. He genuinely said that, but there are a couple of problems with his argument. Glenn Greenwald's work for The Guardian on Edward Snowden's leaked documents have shown that our governments have been operating dragnet collections. They have not been targeted. Secondly, any terrorist worth their salt will probably already know how to avoid these systems, and The Guardian have actually said that they've been publishing information very, very selectively. But maybe David Cameron's answer was just his way of avoiding questions about whether or not our very own GCHQ has been spying on the Italians, as some reports have suggested. It's just a theory. <laughs>